This is YBR back with the coin game and today we're going to be driving to the carnival. Unfortunately, I did not back up my save file, so we're going to have to be starting a brand new game for this video. So for this one, let's go ahead and be a guy. We got three shirt options. I want the one that says I'm with stupid. And for survival mode, that is still not implemented yet, but birthday mode works fine just as before. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing we need to do is we need to get some money because the carnival is really expensive. Oh no, I'm gonna be surrounded by the robots. Oh, they're attacking. Wait, you know what to do? You jump back at them. They jump at you, you jump at them. That'll intimidate them and then they'll run away. See, it works. Right, get out the way, I need some money. You stomp on him. <laughs> Just use his face as a landing board for my foot. Now I figured out something too. The fastest and easiest way to get the money, it seems like, is to just put your cursor in one spot and let it sit there. For some reason, it seems like you get more money sitting the cursor in one spot than actually moving it around trying to catch the money. I don't know why, but if we sit here like this, we should be able to get close to $100 pretty consistently, it seems like, if not, maybe even a little bit more, because it seems like it's stacking up pretty fast this time. If I had to guess, I think it's because sometimes the dollar bills just get stuck on your cursor. Like you saw one right there. It just sat on top of my cursor and I think I collected the same dollar bill multiple times. So when you're moving the cursor around, you always only collect each dollar bill just once. And that was a really good run. We got over $100. We got $104 in total. That's worth the celebration. Let's go over to the VIP room and watch the band play. Woo! Except let's not get stuck inside there. I've done that before. We do not want to get stuck inside with the band. So I'm going to do this one more time. And this time I'm going to spin all over the place trying to collect the money like this. Just going all over the place like money, 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 money. Okay, maybe not like that. Maybe that's just a little bit too chaotic. We'll do it like a real life person would do it. Like, oh, money, 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 money. Because it did not sound like we were collecting money very fast when I was just spinning all over the place like some sort of madman. But right now, just listen to the dung, dung, dung as we get the money. It does not seem as fast as when my cursor was just in one spot. I think it's a little bit faster than when I was spinning all over the place. But still, we're only going to get about half the money we got the first time, I think. Well, maybe a little bit more than half, but it's not going to be close to 100. It's uh, 60 something. How much did I get the first time? $63. So the first time I had $104. All right. We now have $217 in total, and that better be enough to go to the carnival. And if I wanted to, I could just go and directly teleport to the carnival. But I think it's a lot more fun if we drive there. And what's going on over there? Why is there all that smoke? Oh my gosh, that robot's on fire. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 he's got a sparkler. That's much better than the robot being on fire. Hey, yo, man, let me get that sparkler from you. Give me that, give me that sparkler. Give me your sparkler. It's my birthday and I deserve it. Hey, big robot, make him give me a sparkler. He won't give it to me. This is not fair, it's my birthday. I am the worst kind of child, ain't I? Uh, all right, whatever. Let's just go to my golf cart and make our way over to the pier, which is where the carnival's at. Card goes in, and we're good to drive. Why does it feel like it's kind of backing up slowly? That's weird. <laughs> I'm like, why is my car not working? Oh, I'm running over a robot. Poor guy. Time to play chicken. Oh, I don't think that's what they used to do. I thought they went to go right through you, and I am popping the meanest wheelie. Okay, let's, uh... Let's try not to get ran over anymore because that is not what I expected to happen. I'm pretty sure in the old version of the game, you would just drive right through them and absolutely nothing happened. But that is one of those things where I could just be mixing up my games. Anyways, the route I'm taking should be the best one possible to get to the carnival. And I think eventually we should be able to see it off in the distance over there. Like you kind of see maybe there's a little bit of a lit area just barely. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Lamborghini says, I'm a ramp and you're in the way. But over here, I saw a Ferris wheel light up for a second. I guess we're just a little too far away. There it is. You can see it again. That is the area we are heading to. Ooh, what did that sign say? We got to check this sign. Completely pointless, but we're going to do it anyways. Ooh, that's not a good angle to read. There we go. Pier Point Nature Trails. No motor vehicles on trails. Enter trails at own risk. No glass bottles. No dogs off leash. No being dumb. You want to see me break two rules at once? That's pretty impressive, isn't it? I'm gonna drive a motor vehicle on the trail and that motor vehicle is a golf cart. As far as I'm concerned, that is being dumb. So we are breaking both of those rules all at once. I am so dumb and impressive at the same time that I can actually break two rules at once. Now give me a glass bottle and we are set. Also give me a pet dog too. I'll just break every rule at once. And one of the dumb things is we're gonna have to drive back through this 
to actually get to the carnival. I don't know what's on the other side of this dirt trail. But I can't tell. This is the end thanks to my little navigation unit. Oh, is that the gas station? You know what we can do at the gas station? We can buy me some scratchers. Yeah, I got all this money. I said I was going to use it at the carnival. And then we go and gamble it all away. <laughs> I'm the worst. And just smash into those dudes. Why not? I wonder what will happen if you try to enter the gas station while you're still on the golf cart. Let's see what happens. Must exit vehicle. No drive through service. Ah, that's unfortunate. I would have loved to drive through. Oh, no. Golf cart is out of fuel. Well, thankfully, this is a good place to be if your golf cart runs out of fuel, I guess. But first... Let's get some scratchers, and uh, I think we're going to do the $25 ones because we are high roller. We got $200 in our pocket. Let's we'll see how long that lasts. So, give me big money. I see a lot of nuns. This is not going well. Oh, that was terrible. We can't end on something that awful. Here we go. Try again. Big money on the 25. I'm going to have no money left for the carnival. There's a big one. Come on. Come on. One more fish. There we go. I just want $100. All right. We're going to stop while we're ahead because that's a great spot to be. Hey, sales robot, I just won $50. What do you think of that? Nope, I am the sales robot now, apparently. Okay, can we get out of here? Good. What does it say? No refunds on installed electrical items. So I'm pretty sure I remember all these items around here being there, but I don't remember they being the sales robot. I think he is a new addition, so that's neat. And now I need to deal with this gas situation, but I'm not sure if the gas pump will actually reach the golf cart or if I need to like push the golf cart closer or something. So let's go ahead and buy the gas. Click here to purchase. Give me one fuel, please. Okay, it gives you a canister. That works. So then we can just bring the canister over the golf cart and fill it that way. Question is, where is the filler cap on the golf cart? There it is, I think. So right click to use. Is it working? Oh, great. It is filling it up. And you know what I might do? I might buy one more thing of fuel because it does not seem like the golf cart has that big of a fuel tank. And it could just be useful to have an extra one in the back. There's my second one, and that's a really good deal now that I think about it. That's $2.50 for not only the canister, but also the fuel inside of it. And what is this? It says, Islandville Power 30, authorized personnel only, danger high voltage. Wait a minute, what? It's like a charging strip for the robots? This game is weird, but weird in all the right ways. Do we hit the power button? Let's see. Oh, stomp it. Click it. No, I don't think we can do anything with it. That's interesting, but anyways, we need to stop getting distracted. Our goal was to go to the carnival. We are still not at the carnival. Now, do I remember which way I came from? Not entirely. I think it was this way, but I'm really not sure. Okay, yeah, it is this way because I see the little path I came from. I am going the correct direction. Oh, man, this thing is bumpy. Like We are going apparently about 25 miles per hour at times through a bumpy area in pitch black darkness aside from my headlights in a golf cart my guy's a little bit insane like we're going 27 almost 28 miles per hour for a second this is extremely dangerous this is my uh okay good my fuel is still there i'm thinking we're bouncing all over the place we might just lose that fuel all right so once again we can see the ferris wheel off in the distance we can see some of the other rides as well coming into view we'll see everything up close very soon though so i'm not going to try to point out what's what from here Hey, what is that over there? That's actually something I haven't noticed. It's like some sort of a uh, bus or trailer or something. It looks like it might be on fire. Uh, one last distraction, guys. Why is there so much smoke coming from the bus? <gasps> it just drifted. I guess it's just the way the bus is. Okay. The bus just has a lot of pollution going on because it's a drift bus. Anyways, over to the carnival. The entrance, we a little bit overshot it because of the bus distraction. Here is... The entrance, the island time amusements. Let's go ahead and, uh, can we buy a ticket from the golf cart? Let's see. Insert card. All right. Give me the, uh, we're, well, that's going to go with the 25 ride pass to make sure we get to ride every ride at least once for sure. And now, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Do not buy tickets when you're inside of the golf cart. That breaks things. Can we, uh, just teleport over to the pier then? No, we have really, really broken things. We just fall through the floor now. All right, tell you what. I'm going to try to do everything about the same that I did so far, and I'll be back once I'm at the pier again. 
Okay, I bought my ride pass and this time I did not fall through the floor endlessly because I bought it like a normal person where I got out of the golf cart and then purchased it. Now we're going back into the golf cart. Let's kind of do a quick little drive around in this area before we interact with it so you can see some of the stuff around here. So we got rides and then we also got mini games as well. There's all the things you would possibly want at a little carnival. Except I don't know if any of the rides can break down and put you in a dangerous situation. I haven't seen that happen yet, but man, the way I see these carnivals around in real life, you would think that happens all the time, how sketchy they look. Anyways, let's go ahead and try a ride. And just to be smart and safe, let's get out of the golf cart, then try to go on the ride. So this is the ride that goes up and down. I don't know if they have a real fancy name or anything. And when you go on the ride, it just it zooms you on through and puts you in a seat, and then you get to enjoy the ride. One of the neat things is it seems like the rides go on forever. You just ride until you're bored, which means I probably only needed the eight ride tickets and not 25 because I don't think there's more than eight rides, is there? There's one we're on, that one down there, Ferris wheel, the one over there, and I think there's one to the right. That's only a few. Oh, there's also the bumper cars. Yeah, I don't think there's more than eight, though. Anyways, we'll go up one more time, though, so you can see the stuff from the top again because I think it's a pretty good view of things. Although, I bet Ferris wheel has just as good as a view. Oh, no, I kind of like this one because... It's nice and stable at the top for a second. And it does go back up, it just takes a second. So there we go, you can see everything again from the top. All the neat stuff. And then you say, okay, I'm done with this ride, let me off! And it says, exiting the ride now. And once you're done, you gotta walk yourself out of the area. It doesn't walk you out automatically. And one of the funny things is, is with most of the rides, it seems like you could just go into the area where the ride's taking place and try to mess things up. Like we could go under the ride and see if we can get squished. Which is probably a very unsafe thing to do because it could just squish me and say game over for all I know. Let's see what happens. Oh no! We're good. It's fine. Nothing happens. Game's not that crazy to you. Alright, that was fun, but boy, did it make me thirsty. Let's get some fresh squeezed lemonade for $4.50. I like the guy. He's like, hey, what can I get you? I'll let you listen to him in a second. I'm gonna get this lemonade and I'll let you listen. We're gonna be actually juicing over there. That's some fresh lemonade. Nice. Thank you for the lemonade. Dump it in the trash. Oh, wait. No, I actually want that. Come back. Come back. Drink. 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 There we go. Ha! I drink it like it's a bottle. I don't know how to use straws. I don't know. You can listen to what he says. Welcome to the Idleville Amusements. How can I help you? I just think it's neat that they talk to you. I'm not going to let you listen to all of them, but all of them talk to you when you do the stuff. All right, now let's go ahead and do a game. This is Chow Time Racing. Right up and be a winner. All right, folks. Grid's all set and about to be underway. And for this game, all we got to do is keep the water gun on the hole. And it does move around a little bit, so you got to move the water gun in sync with that to make sure you don't miss it at all. And it feels like once you get into a rhythm, you're pretty good. You just go back and forth, then back and forth, then back and forth. And eventually there'll be a winner and a loser. And I think I am going to be the winner because number five is zooming on ahead. I got the fastest dog, which means I get three game credits. So with those game credits, you can get whatever prize you want. You don't have to get a prize. You can hold the credits and do another round to get more if you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and say... Give me that snow cone natural. And I do not want to race again. Of course, they throw my beautiful fresh snow cone on the dirty carnival floor. That is rude of them. So next up, we got Lucky Ducky. Hey, good luck, kiddo. Make sure to pick a yellow one. <laughs> and this one I do not care for because it is entirely luck based. Oh, but I actually got a prize this time. That's a first. I tried this two times before and both times I got zero. So the only thing I can afford is the crayon blue. So I guess give me the crayon blue. I'll stick that in my inventory. Oh, come on, man. Don't throw it on the floor. And now let's try another ride. One ride pass. I think they're all just cost one ride pass. It doesn't matter which ride it is. And this one is a little bit weird when you get into it because of the camera angle you use. So you're like laying down. So you're kind of forced to look downwards a little bit. And it's just this, a little bit dizzying to uh, ride this thing. Well, one of the really neat things is, is when you're up in the air and then you swoop down, you can hear the person who's running the ride. He has like a little radio playing. So I'm going to try to let you listen to that. Uh. For some reason, little things like that just really amuse me. 
And also, you can look left and right when you ride this thing, which makes the camera even more confusing and exactly what's going on. I try not to do that, but I kind of do it also just to show you how crazy it looks. Now we're getting off the ride and we're going to go to the next thing. Oh, and you can actually see the name. This is called Raceway Park. That means the thing that goes up and down probably also had a name, but I missed it. Oh, well, next up, we're going to go to Shoot the Star. 100 shots for five dollars and all right sharp shooter let's not try to take me out of business here huh and i think i figured out the secret to this is to shoot very very slowly if you shoot very slowly you can be very precise because the problem is if you shoot really fast you'll end up having shots that overlap each other too much and you're not getting all the star but if you do it like this we just a couple of shots couple of shots and just kind of clean it on through like that yeah, the whole star pretty much covered, and you still got some extra shots left. You can kind of go around the edges extra more just in case you might have missed some. But really, that thing looks solid, so I'm just going to go and shoot the rest I have all over the place. And look at that star. It is completely covered. And that gets one game credit, which means we can get only the smaller prizes, huh? Yeah, okay, give me that lush donut. Oh, man, I wanted one of those too when I was a kid. I do like the robot's commentary. It's like, he wanted one of those as he was a kid. When was the robot a kid? Why are there kid robots? None of this makes sense. All I know is now I can get three darts for three dollars. Come on, right, young buck. Let's see what you got. Going for the long shot. Way in the corner. Oh, no. Just a little too short. All right, let's try the easy shots. The blues that are right in front of us. That was easy. And we only got one more dart, which means we're not going to be able to get the best prize possible. We're going to have to get one of the middle tier prizes. Or you know what? We can say, I don't want none of these. I really want that blue cat pillow. So we're going to say, I'm done. Let me try again so this time I can get enough points to get my cat pillow. And I'm not giving up with the long shot. I'm going to go a little higher this time. And, ooh, I just popped two. I wonder if I actually get two credits for that. That was a very good shot, and I doubt I could ever do that again. So, again, we'll take the easy ones. Try to go and get the red one. Let's see if we can line it up good. Perfect. So how many credits do we have? All right, we have six, which means I can get my cat pillow and I can get nice some job. other stuff too, like uh, a hot dog. Do, do I want a red Winner. crayon? Balloon. No, not really. So I'm good with just that stuff. Thank you very much. Again, throwing my stuff on the floor, my dude. Come on, can't you at least put it on the counter? Anyways, we're going to go to the next ride, which is called the Tilt-A-Whirl. Again, it only costs one ride pass. So we hop on in and the vehicles are still in motion. This is probably a little unsafe and I accidentally hit escape right there. I was dumb. All right, now how dizzy will this make us? I assume this is going to make us more dizzy than any of the other rides there are, right? That's not that bad. It's actually uh, pretty good so far. Whoa, a little bit dizzy. Okay, it's getting worse. It's getting way worse now. We are really spinning around. <laughs> All right, it's not bad again. It's good, good. Oh, now it's whipping us. You never know what you're going to get when you're riding this thing. Sometimes it's going to be nice and easy. Other times, yeah, that ain't easy at all. It's going to whip you. And it's funny seeing the other robots ride the ride. Do they have gyroscopes installed so they can say, wow, that was fun. My gyroscope was thrashed all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is getting a little bit too dizzying and chaotic. So let's go said, I am done riding the ride. Thank you very much. Let me off before I throw up. And now we got to make our way to the next attraction really fast because this thing starts right back up and it's very, very dangerous because it could just smack into you. Although if you get smacked into, nothing really happens. But still, man, come on. Let me get off the ride before you start it up. That's... Very, very dangerous. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't make that face. I will beat you up. I might be a kid, but I'm a bully kid. Do you see what I did this this uh, other robot with a sparkler earlier? Man, he got destroyed. He was a sparkler when I was done with him. All right, so let's go ahead and go to this next attraction over here. This is Crow Roller. Easiest game to win. Keep your hands on the side of the line, please. So I'm really good at real bowling, so I should be good at this, right? Right? Yes. And by the way, all you do for this is it depends how long you hold it down. The longer you hold it down, the faster you roll it. And for this one, you always only get one prize credit. So let's go ahead and get the golden hammer. Where's that prize at? Oh, wait, he said to the right. I am not thinking. He said prize on the right. I look to the left. That guy over there, he must think I'm stupid. Y'all must think I'm stupid. I'm just not good at paying attention. Let's go. Ooh, you look like a three-point shooter. Am I in trouble here? Now, out of all of the carnival activities, the basketball shot is the hardest for me. So the way it works is when you pick up the ball, it kind of sways left and right a little bit. And if you shoot the ball when it's way to the right, it's going to miss the basket way to the right. And the same goes for the left. So you got to shoot it when it's in the middle and hope you can get it close to the basket. I've had two decent shots. They're just 
unfortunately not hit my mark. Here we go again. That one's going to go way off. That one was swayed. That's what happened there. All right, let's try this again. I feel like I have a pretty good alignment that I've been using. It's really close every time. I just got to do a little bit of fine tuning to get it to actually be perfect. If I had to guess, the middle of the screen is like right on the red box. And one thing that's kind of mean is every time you pick up the ball, it resets the camera. So you got to try to realign it and say, is that good? That looks pretty good. And it's not even close. I think the ball must have been swayed again. I'm going to make sure this ball is not swayed. Make sure it's nice and straight, straight and throw. Come on. There we go. One game credit. And that means I can get any prize I want. Except I kind of want two prizes. I want the stuffed coin and the salt lamp. Whatever shall I do? You know what? Let's get the coin. And then we're going to try this again to get the salt lamp. So this will be the last try on this because I don't want to be trying basketball all day. But I know the alignment. I know how to do it. We just got to execute. So that looks pretty promising. And go. You know why I'm missing? I'm not yelling the name of a really good basketball player as I throw it. So if I go like, Kobe, it's going to work. <laughs> it's just logical. That always works. You yell the name of a basketball player and the ball will go in the hoop. I didn't yell that time, so it didn't go in. But it really doesn't matter because you know what? I got my salt lamp. And I don't need to shoot anymore, so let's go ahead and pick up my goodies. Can I pick up the basketball? I won't let me. And what else have we yet to do? Oh, goodness, this thing. All right, this thing feels like it's more luck-based than skill-based. That's all you do is you throw the balls into the cups. Good luck, youngster. Here's the can. And it's $5 for five balls. This one is a huge drip off unless you can somehow do this consistently. And I can't. I got one, sure, but I'm lucky to get one for every five balls. That was a terrible shot. That's all on me. I, I got nothing to say about that. That was a decent shot. It bounced right off the yellow one. The yellow ones are the best. The yellows are worth three, the blues are worth two, and the reds are worth one. And there's one in the middle, which I don't know how many it's worth. So we got one. You know, I don't want any of these prizes. I want the cat pillow, which costs two. So we're going to try this again. Hope I can get just one more ball in. And if I can get that one ball in, we will get my cat pillow. So how hard can it be to get one out of five? It can be surprisingly hard. But thankfully, I know the secret to make sure we make it in. All we do, Kobe. Always works. I don't know how, but it always works. We can't abuse that kind of power, though. That's one of those things where you can use it once every five balls at most. If you use it more than that, you're abusing the power and you'll never be able to do it again in your life. So the good news is I can now get my blue cat pillow, although I kind of want that fish even more, but he's too expensive. I don't feel like playing this game anymore. Ah, oh, I found the floor. Everything falls on the floor. And I've been doing a lot of games in a row, and I've kind of been skipping over the rides. So I have like one game left and a bunch of rides, so we should probably focus on the rides. But first, pro gamers throwing balls like me need pro gamer snacks like elephant ears. I like listening to them talk. I don't know why. Just their voiceovers are a little bit unusual, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, sure, that's what a robot sounds like. He's good at cooking. Oh, he made my elephant ears. Give me that. I'm going to eat this thing. Oh, my goodness. That thing's huge. It's like the size of my head. And I ate it all. That was delicious. It was like 2,000 calories of food, probably, but it was delicious. And now that my belly's nice and full, let's go find a ride to throw up all that food. Now, Bumper cars isn't probably the ride for that because you're not going to be crashing that hard, but we're going to go ahead and do some bumper cars. And one of the neat things about bumper cars is you can get free food. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you get free food in bumper cars? Well, I'll show you, but first, let's do some bumping. Smash all these little robot dudes who are, all they do is bumper cars. Non-stop bumper cars, bumper cars, bumper cars. <laughs> that guy's getting jiggled. He's going to fall out of his bumper car. The thing is, though, is if you hit them hard enough, you can actually get them to drop some things. Sometimes it's coins, sometimes it's food, sometimes it's drink. It just depends. That's a pretty good hit. And they dropped something. That was, it looks like a drink of lemonade. We're going to try to do another one of those. Ugh. Uh, that one, he looked like he dropped a coin right behind him. It's kind of hard to tell. Check later on. I'm going to go try to get some more big hits. Going to get up to speed. Oh, that was another one for a lemonade. Sometimes they drop, I think, cheesy poofs as well. They just drop all kinds of random junk as you do this. So if you want a way to just grind out stuff without having to pay money for it, this is a pretty good way to do it. I mean, yeah, you have to pay money for the entrance, but I don't think there's any limit to how many times you can crash into them. This whole place can be just covered in food if you're patient enough. 
Oh, sometimes it's hard to get up to speed because there's so many cars in your way. Here's a good chance, and there's a good target. Bam! He dropped the coin. The coin is standing on its edge. Is it heads or tails? Neither. Like, what are the real life odds of a coin landing on neither? It must be astronomically small. Anyways, let's go ahead and pick up all the goodies I got. So those coins are worth only 50 cents. And if you crash into enough of them, you'll eventually have enough coins where you break even, I'm sure. I just drank my lemonade. Again, I don't understand how a straw works. Put the other two in my pocket. And let's go ahead and leave this area. And look at that robot! It's got a mohawk! That is cool! Oops, I accidentally hit the wrong button and now I have a flashlight in my hand. Robot, I'm gonna hit you with that. Oh, I should not hit you with my flashlight. He got angry and now he's leaving. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's not do that. How about this? Uh, instead of messing with the robot, let's mess with the bumper cars. We're gonna smash into them with my feet, which actually works better than the bumper car. It turns out I am really strong. I can just push these dudes around like they're nothing. Unfortunately, though, they ain't gonna be dropping no cheesy poops if you do it like this, so really no point in that. And, oh, I'm kind of stuck on the stairs. What gives? There we go. We're off the stairs. Uh, over here, we have. Uh, the beer tent. Unfortunately, my character, he's not over 21, so he can't get into the beer tent. I kind of wish there was a way to sneak in and then they kick you out. That'd be funny. All right, next ride is the Ferris wheel. And check this out. I am so excited to see the Ferris wheel. I'm going to run as fast as I possibly can. We are zooming over to this thing. Just funny how fast he runs. To be honest, though, I'm disappointed. I have to share this with this robot. I wanted my own. I guess as long as we look out the side, we don't have to see the robot. Like if we angle the camera like this, I don't see him at all. I can even angle it like this, but then you see him and say, like, oh, I don't want to see that. I just want to imagine this is mine. In fact, you know what sucks? He has the better view, I bet. For this ride, let's do something different because there's really not much to talk about as you go through a Ferris wheel. So why don't you just enjoy the environment as we ride the Ferris wheel? pretty nice ride but as you saw the view wasn't as good as it was from the drop ride the drop ride just has an excellent view and now we gotta walk all the way across the park to go on some of the things that I kind of skipped at the front of the park I didn't really plan the order of things here I just thought this is fun let's go do this this is fun let's go do this and now we just have all the rides left which are neat but they're not fun you know they're not interactive they're cool to do once or twice and then I'm bored of it. But then the games, I'll, I'll do the games all day because I can get me more coins, more prizes. And I'll fill my house with all kinds of junk just like I did before. Except we're going to have more and more junk. And eventually it's just you open the garage door and it just overflows with junk. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do the swing ride. And which seat do I want? Well, apparently I'm very picky and I got to run all the way over here to get the seat I want. And now we just wait for the ride to activate. First, it lifts you up a little bit to make sure your feet aren't dragging. And then the slow spin starts. And we got a robot next to us. Can we high five in the middle of the ride? That'd be cool. Unfortunately, robots don't got arms. I don't know where they are, but they ain't attached to their bodies. So this is what it looks like as you swing through. And I'll let swing for a while before we go ahead and exit the ride. Make sure you guys get a nice view of things. It would be kind of neat if we get like WASD right here to wobble the swing around a little bit. But unfortunately, it is completely static, which... All right, yeah, we've seen it. Looks neat. Now we can go ahead and go to the next ride so we get off the swing and I guess the reason we chose that swing is so we could be right next to the exit which is nice and convenient. And over here we got I think the last ride we're going to be doing which is the pirate ship. So did I need my 25 ride ticket? No. Did I need more than 8? Also no. There are only 7 rides here. I know the number says 17 and 17 plus 7 is 24. Why is that? Because one of the rides I did it twice for editing purposes and I edited out one of the takes so I only wrote the ride once on camera. But what I ended up having to do is I spent two ride tickets to get the video footage for one single ride. So is this thing at its maximum height? Let's see. When it gets to the top, there's just a little bit of space between the white part that accelerates you and the bottom of the boat. So let's see. That looks like it is about the same. So that's probably about as high as it's going to get. 
So this is not one of the ships where it'll invert you. And you can kind of tell because there's no strap or anything. If this was one of the ones that inverted you, you'd be strapped in. Now let's do something stupid and dangerous. We could just get off the ride and exit, right? But what if instead of doing that, we jump back onto the boat as it started to move around? How dangerous can this be? It could be very dangerous as long as I don't fall off. Oh no. <laughs> it's a good challenge to see if you can stay on. I could. I got bumped off. Now I'm gonna make sure I don't get smashed in the face by a boat. That's all the rides and there is one more game to do and then we will be done with the carnival. So over here we have yet another coin dropper but this one's a little bit different than the ones that are inside of the arcade so we'll go ahead and do it a couple of times. One of the neat things about this one is you can press spacebar to stop the pusher so you can line it up in different ways and have some strategy to it. Like you could stop it here and maybe you just want a whole line of coins across the whole thing because you want to move all the coins all the way across all at once. So yeah, we can do that. Just got to line them up and place them good. And I think that'll be okay. So we let it go. It pushes them in and nothing falls. What a sad disappointment. Try this again. We put them in a nice row of coins. Going to be maybe five. Let's see. How's that going to go? Uh, let's try six then. How about one over there? They're starting to stack up. That's not good. Let's just go ahead and let it go and see. Will any of them fall? That actually lined up pretty well, but nothing fell. Try this again. This is probably not a good strategy is what I'm finding out here. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you want to just push everything a little bit? You want to push one zone a lot to get whatever's there pushed out. Here we go. Come on. All right, we got one coin. We got four more we could push. So it was 20, 20 coins for $5. Not that good of a deal. Considering we're only going to get like three or four coins. Very, very bad deal. I guess I should have read the text. It says tokens have no real value. These machines are not regulated in any way and most likely a scam. That goes for most of the carnival, doesn't it? I don't know. Some of them, it feels like you could actually get some decent stuff without having to pay too much. Like the uh, bowling one, you could get some good stuff. The dart one, you could really get some good stuff because I felt like I could do that pretty consistently. The rest of them, though, I don't know. Also, you see, I got a new strategy. We're piling all of the coins all at once in the one big fat pile. And we're gonna see what that does. Trying a bunch of different things here, seeing what happens. This is 20 coins. And I feel like when you smash 20 coins into that stack, you gotta have at least like 10 of them drop in, right? Wow. That was majorly disappointing. I can't believe that. Let's try that again. That sucked. All right, come on, we're gonna do the real good strategy. What's the real good strategy? I don't know. We're, we're not doing strategy. We're just gonna keep dumping coins in this corner as much as we possibly can and hope we can get that two to fall. That's my goal for this, just to get the two to fall and then we'll be able to pick a prize. Not a great prize, but a prize nonetheless. Oh, I got one of the coins on the pusher. That's cool. I've never done that before. You gotta time it like really perfect, I guess, to do that. Like right when it comes out, you click it. And unfortunately I can't because I already clicked. Anyways, we got my tour, and we got one more coin left, I think, so make it count. Wait for the final push. Come on, final point. Ooh, it actually did some. And then we should be able to pick a prize, right? Yes, we can. What prize do we want? We can't afford most of them, unfortunately. How about the Carney Mirror? I haven't seen that one as an option anywhere else. So I don't want to try again. Go ahead and uh, find my prize. There it is. And that's going to do it for this video. Until next time. This has been YBR, and remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how much of a scam the carnival is. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time. As Frankie would say, come on over and buy some. Come on, folks, step right up.